scholars. In fact, we think we, even today, we've gotten to a point that many things are much simpler uh, to use than they are on any other, any other platform, any other phone that's available on the market uh, today, um, including whatever you happen to have in your pocket. Um, we spent a lot of time here, we're, we're excited uh, about that. So, um, you know, simple. Simplicity, uh, really, really important. So simple that even, you know, even a young child can do, uh, can do some of these things. They know how to use the point with the finger, and they know how to touch things. So if you can do that, you can use Windows Mobile 6.1. And I'm going to flip through a couple things, and you'll see. So there's a panel interface here that I'm flipping through. You notice I have one finger. I am just moving up and down, and I get to certain things, and I can come in, and I can flip through, then you know, left and right on something. But I have one finger, one button. Uh, this whole time in, in what I'm doing. And that is the core of, of Windows Mobile 6.1. All of the other features that you may know from Windows Mobile, um, the ability to add thousands of applications that are available from a lot of our partners today, you still can do all that. But getting to some, to some basic and even some advanced things, as you'll see here in a minute, are, are much, much simpler. So here, wow. Uh, Sandra has already said that my phone's hot. I agree, so let me click in and say thank you, essentially. My phone is hot. Um, and this happens to be a Motorola Q9. Um, and uh, say, you, know, you are to um, how about dinner? So this is kind of fun. It'll come in, and you notice here what I just showed you is a new threaded uh, SMS uh, feature in Windows Mobile 6.1. So just like in, in an instant messaging session that you'd have on a PC, where everything's all together, your, your SMS is now this way as well. And so if you are like me, or like a lot of us, we, we tend to send texts to a lot of the same people, here you've got it all in one place. You have a really nice, uh, really nice easy uh, conversation. So let me go back and see if I actually am available for dinner tonight. I'm a busy guy, I've got lots of social commitments. Um, we'll see if I have time for, uh, for Sandra and my busy life tonight. To come in, I'm at my party, of course. I need to work out. I've been missing that one for years now, actually. Um, and I've got a flight tonight, so yeah, I probably have time. Um, let me go in and see if, uh, if I can find somewhere for, uh, for us to go to dinner. So I'm going to open up my browser. And I happen to be on the, the Fullerton uh, webpage here. And you'll notice that like a lot of, of websites, that you might browse to on a small phone, whether you've got a clamshell phone or a big PDA screen. You know, none of the sites look perfectly on, on small screens. There's lots of reasons for that we'd be glad to talk about in the Q&A afterwards. But a simple thing I can do now with Windows Mobile 6.1, I just click the zoom out button, I can see the entire page. And I go, wow, okay, so I need to find out what's in the phone tonight. I've got a map, I know where it's at. Uh, here's what I'm looking for, and I actually need the address, I need the phone number, and it'd be really nice if I could just quickly take that and text it back to Sandra, and with Windows Mobile 6, when you can. So I can come in here, just with my menu, and select text, and I do a copy paste. I come down to where I was, uh, where I need to go, and I'm gonna come and go, oh, I'm just gonna start right there. I'm gonna click copy, and I'm gonna come back, write it in her message, and she said, yeah, it's in there. Good. So, uh, let me go in, and I am going to put that in, and there we go. Very, very simple. One button, copy, paste out of a browser, lots of improvements in, in 6.1 to make this much, uh, you know, a, little, a little bit magical. I um, hope you can feel that a little bit. Um, obviously a little bit biased, but, uh, but a lot of fun. Another thing that we hear a lot about uh, from people is, um, is the buying experience. You go and uh, you go to your store, wherever it is, to go buy your phone. Um, you may go down to the madness of Simply and go searching around for just the right phone. You bring home that box, you're really excited, and you open it up, and sometimes it's not as easy to set that up. And so we've added a panel right here on this home screen, again, that I can get access to with my one finger and one button, um, where I can go in and set up really simple things, my date and time. Uh, I can set up an email. I can set a password. So if I leave, if you leave your phone in the cab, which I have done a few times, um, they got a password, and then that information gets wiped off if I've lost it. Setting up a Bluetooth headset, kind of a painful process in a lot of places. Now there's no passwords you need to remember. I hit connect on my Bluetooth headset, and here in 
and boom, magically it's just set up for you. It's really, really easy uh, to use. The background, uh, setting ringtones, bringing over music. Maybe you want to transfer music for something. You can all do, you can do all of this. But let me show you on one that's particularly interesting to lots of people. That's just setting up, uh, setting up your email. So here, when I want to set up my email, I click that one button. I come down and it tells me, okay, you're going to set up an email account. I've clicked there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my email address and a password, and then it's going to do the rest. So I'm going to type in uh, six dot dot one, and it's at Yahoo. So this could be Yahoo, it could be Gmail, it could be whatever whatever your provider is. It's all it's all there. I put in my password. And boom, right there. It's already found the settings for me. My email set up. I click next. I'm getting email on my phone. So pick your email. You now can get it that easily with Windows Mobile. So it's really, really exciting stuff. Make it really simple for people to do some of those key things. Uh, the last one, and I promise to quit, uh, quit blabbering on about here, is, is you, you want to have fun on your phone as well. So back at that. Uh, back at that home screen, the one finger, one button. Uh, we've added a couple of things that people want to do a lot on their phones, and that is get you know right into your images. So here, I've got a panel to flip through all of my photos, and right here, I'm flipping through all my photos right on my screen. I have not left one key. I'm using the same finger. I'm flipping through all of my pictures right there. I can click it if I want to go and edit them, or email, or post them to my blog, whatever I want to do. The other one here is I can also play music right from my home screen. I challenge you to find any other phone on the market today where it's this simple, where I'm on one button, using one finger, and I'm going to go in and I can get my entire music library right here. So here, I've got some stuff from Plants and Fergie. I can flip through the different things I've got. You know what? I really want when, and flip over to that one. Right there. I'm playing, I'm pausing, all from one place. One finger, one button. Simple, and a little bit magical. That's one of those moments. Thank you.